you know, a lot of you can't tell when, um, let's say me, Leon, when I was selfish, you can't tell when I'm selfish. You don't even realize when I'm in my selfish mood or mode, right? But um, it would show, you, I couldn't help it because if, as long as you give me what I want, whether it's sex, whether it's uh, giving me words of affirmation, stroking my, <laughs> my ego, I'm like happy, go lucky, smiling. As soon as you stop giving me those things, as soon as you stop feeding my selfish ways, as soon as, as soon as you stop feeding my demons, because you're feeding my demons, I don't plan to feed them. I expect her, 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 and her to feed them, right? As soon as you stop feeding them, I'm empty. And I can't even tell you that I'm empty. I won't. I don't want to tell you because if I tell you why I'm empty, you'll stop doing it. Now you're on me, you know? And then my demons and my flesh won't be filled anymore. And and I can't tell you that because I need that to happen. I need that to get, keep me going. I need that to move forward. I need that to have my motivation, my energy. Even though it was evil, I was deeply rooted in evil as a child. So I went all these years up until I was 47 years old to try to start working on getting my demons out of me, get my, my lust and my greed out of me. But those years that I didn't have any type of therapy or, or understanding or uh, the years that I didn't try to do anything about it or fix it, um, it damaged me and I damaged other people. And I didn't even care, you know? It was like I, didn't, I couldn't process their hurt or their pain. And when you're hurting other people, you're just not hurting your husband and wife or girlfriend or boyfriend, right? There are second and third and fourth orders of effect that hurts other people, their mother, their father, their brothers, their sisters, aunts, uncle. I never thought about the other people that I was hurting, the family members. And I would pop up like, hey, what's going on? How y'all doing? Like nothing, like nothing happened. You know, I was sick I, I, and I wasn't even tired of being sick. I'm like, I ain't sick and nothing wrong with me. I was cocky as hell, arrogant, you know, and I, had I not gotten therapy and I keep, I know people like hearing therapy, therapy, people don't want to hear it. Therapy, therapy. No, had I not sat down with that little bitty four, in, four foot, 11 inch, 120 pound white lady, I'd still be a hot ass mess. <laughs> and I'm so happy. And that's why I can laugh about it. Because when people were on me, when I was doing what I was doing, acting the way that I was acting, it would piss me off. I'd be like, you, mother, you know, call them names and stuff, go off yelling and screaming, walk away. I'm a, I'm a flight type of dude. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to drink. I'm going to smoke. I'm out of here. Driving fast. Ah, it's a son of a bitch. Man. But I couldn't take it. I was immature, you know. I didn't. I didn't understand who I was, you know. And I'm like, are they gonna lie on me like that? But they were telling the truth. I was lying to myself. So if you any, it's if you, and if you anything like me, stop lying to yourself. Stop hurting people because it's not right. It's unhealthy, right? It's uncouth. It's disrespectful. It's all of that. It's alarming. I just want to give y'all that message. You know, get some help. Talk to some people and um, enjoy life. I love life now. Y'all have a great day.